Hey everyone, Red X Rain here with a brand new feature to my channel, the Weekend Matinee, where I will be playing a different movie-based video game uh, every Saturday. And here we have Bill and Ted's Excellent Video Game Adventure. Um, this is something I've wanted to do for a while. Um, I was really just trying to think of what game to play. And I, I don't know, I mean, there's some really great ones I guess I could have chosen, but... I chose this piece of crap because I don't know. Uh, I'll let you read the uh, text here, though it's really not all that uh, important. You got these space-time rebels just moving historical people all over the place, uh, just sort of setting up what you have to do for the game. Um, so yeah, I guess the the big burning question is: if this is a game that's so bad, why did I choose it? Uh, novelty honestly um this is a game that uh and i guess nostalgia uh i used to play this game on my uh nintendo with my stepbrother mike um and we used to play it for like an hour two hour three hour sessions um <laughs> we would play it and then we would figure out like just how bad it was and we couldn't figure it out we never got past like level one um it's it's not a hard game in theory, but it is in practice, I suppose. You'll see the gameplay once we actually get into it. Um, but yeah, we would always... It's like, you know what? We, we would like make this pact. Like, you know what? This is the time. We're not going to give up this time. We're going to like... We're going to beat this game. Or at least get past level one. And I think once or twice we did. Um, oh, and there's Bill... Basically just Rufus telling them the same information, sort of. Um, so yeah, I, I chose this game because I wanted to beat it, because I never actually beat it. Um, so it's not a completely blind let's play. Um, I did go ahead and play through the game, get through the game and it's, it's not a completely rewarding experience, I guess, but... What the hell? It's fun. So, here's how this game works. So, you've got this book of historical figures, and they all have phone numbers. And basically, we're looking for the person who's in the wrong time. And we'll know it's them, because they'll have blinking red numbers at the bottom here. I'm just... It's going to be the one all the way at the end, isn't it? Let's see. Come on. Ah, Thomas Edison. So, we got to dial in that number at the bottom... 6842. And so we enter the first part of every level is the circuits of time. So it's sort of like a little puzzle here where you have to sort of shoot. Pressing A shoots the uh, phone booth out of this little circle and into other circles. And you have to land in a, a circle. Otherwise, it just keeps bouncing around like that. And then when you get to the last one, you get to choose a path. Um, and I'm going to choose up because I think it's the best place to start in the level. Different uh, paths take you to different places. So here's all of our items. we got the pudding. We have firecrackers. We have a uh, textbook. I forget what it's called. And we have cassette tapes. Um, they're going to help us throughout the levels to avoid enemies. We also have keys at the top for when we get locked in jail. And coins on the right side um, for navigating the circuits of time, but also for... Um, if we bump into anybody. So I don't know why I'm going up. I need to go down. And I didn't mean to do that, but I guess that showcases how you use items. That was the uh, the pudding. If people are chasing you, you can throw that and it'll distract them. So basically, the point of the game here is there's four historical baits, items that are hidden throughout the levels, and there's one right here. It's a book of lawyer stuff. So there's four baits hidden throughout each level, and only one of those baits ever pertains to the historical figure that you're looking for in said level. So, like I said, we're looking for Thomas Edison here. So he doesn't want a book of lawyer stuff. That just doesn't make sense for him. Um, and uh, we can talk to townsfolk as long as they're not walking. And they give you these really terrible... Well, not all of them do, but... Well, they're all terrible clues, but... <laughs> uh, oh, and I'm just going to skip this. You can ride the canoe through this, but it, it doesn't really 
help you. I think you get coins for surviving at the end, but not worth it to me. I just want to get through every level as fast as I can. But yes, the townsfolk will give you these really terrible clues that are so vague. Let's see if he gives us one. Oh, I guess that's one, but that's not about bait. Oh, they'll also give you items, and they'll tell you where the historical figures are. Now, the historical figure won't show up unless you uh, have the item they need. And so there is another bait. And so as you can see, it's not like these items are hidden in, like, chests or, like, easily identifiable places with, like, little shining, I don't know, spots or anything. They're just... You have to just jump on stuff. <laughs> and everything looks the same. And it's, uh, it's a real headache if you don't know what what you're doing, where you're going. And, like, the clues that they give are just just so god-awful um, that it's no surprise. Oh, I thought I could go in there. Uh, it's no surprise I could never figure out how to get past level one here. Uh, and I think... Is there... No. I gotta keep going. So... Let's see, what else about this game? What else about this game? Uh, yeah, so people give you coins, skeleton keys, which, like I said, will help you if you get locked up in jail, which we haven't seen any of the um, crazy people. Oh, and speak of the devil, there's a crazy person. You know, throw us in jail. And now we'll escape. And if you check your inventory here, um, you would see that there's a... Uh, here we go, yeah. There's a key missing up top, because you can only get caught... A certain number of times if you get caught without a key then the game's over it's how you quote unquote die i guess but um, i purposely wanted to get caught there because um, the jail is near another one of the baits uh, yeah they can't follow you onto this kind of ground so oh come on now everyone wants the freaking pudding <sighs> just take it thank you Okay. Let's see if these guys have anything to say. Oh. And if you bump into people, uh, you have to pay them a coin, too. And people do start walking as soon as you um, talk to them. So sometimes you can get caught up, uh, like with that last guy. Just bumped into him immediately after I talked to him. Oh, man. Yeah, this really takes me back. I wish the internet existed when I was first playing this game with with my stepbrother. Because, I mean, that's the thing. Honestly, I'm I'm using a guide and, like, a map and stuff. So I know where all the, the bait is now. Would have saved us a lot of trouble. Oh, well. well we got one more here. Stage prop. Oh, that doesn't help. So I guess we gotta look for the uh, all four. Come on, all four baits in this level. So this is similar to the uh, canoe thing that I didn't do. Um, but there's no water to jump in here, and this would just take forever to walk through. So and I guess it's kind of cool. You get to ride a horse. Doesn't really do much for you, but it's a little faster. And so, so yeah, um, you know, in this case, just because um, the bait that I'm looking for, I, you know, I, it, it just happens to be the fourth one, I, um, I'm not going to do that every single time. Oh, that was weird. Um, I'm not going to do that every single time. Really, I mean, there's lots of stuff that you can actually do in this game. There's tons of, you know, NPCs to talk to. You can go into the buildings and um, talk to different characters and get... Um, significant, you know, um, hints, I guess, and, and you can get extra items like cups of pudding and coins and stuff um, through this weird, like, conversation system. Uh, I don't have time for that. I really don't. This is not a 100% completion LP, I guess, because um, I'm really just trying to get through the level as fast as I can, find the historical person as fast as I can, and, you know, be done with this game. And there we go. We have the compact disc. 
which is a uh, appropriate bait for Thomas Edison because he invented the phonograph. So, you know, they try and make, they're kind of like jokes, I guess, some of the items you have to get. I really don't want to get caught by that guy. So, yeah. See, that's one of the guys you can talk to. Oh, I thought he would disappear if I went into a building. Let's give him pudding. So now that we have the bait, we need to go inside the buildings and look for our historical figure. And there's only a finite number of places where uh, they could be. Let's make sure this guy doesn't uh, throw us in jail. I don't think there's any useful buildings by the jail. And sometimes people just are dicks and give you nothing. <laughs> like that guy. <laughs> then we bumped into him. Great. Um, we'll try this way. More buildings on this side, I think. Uh, and yeah, if you uh, if you bump into somebody and you don't have a coin to give them, then they throw you in jail immediately. So that sucks. Let's try in here. Come on. No, that's the one I tried to go in earlier. I think it's a warp point door. There's certain doors that lead to other doors as shortcuts, but... Ugh, oh, come on. No one will tell me where Thomas Edison is. Maybe he's in here. Hey, he is in here! Awesome! I love the freeze frames of the uh, faces. Oh, yeah, you got hit B. And now you have to actually select the appropriate bait. If you give them the wrong one, then you get thrown in jail. So we want to go... All the way to number four, right? The compact disc. <laughs> Let's party back at my place. I bet a party with Thomas Edison is really cool. All right, so. That's level one, and now we basically just have to get uh, out of the time we're in, I guess. It's kind of a silly... Uh, Menial task. This whole game's a silly menial task. What am I talking about? So here it doesn't matter which path you choose. All right. And now we get treated to a concert. I'll be quiet and let you enjoy. Well, that was less than impressive, <laughs> but they do get better, as better as 8-bit eight eight music can get. So yeah, Rufus just telling you did a good job, but not good enough of a job, but he does give you uh, coins at the, uh, at the start of every level, or the end of every level, depending on how you think about it. All right. Well, this seems like good enough a place to stop, so when we come back next time, we'll take on uh, level two of Bill and Ted's Excellent Video Game Adventure. Thanks, guys. See you later.